But if you have this game and you have any tips, uh, if you enjoy this game, anything that could help out, anything that helped change my mind, please let me know. Hey there, it's Iron here, and welcome to Mud Runner American Wilds. This is on PS4. You can get this on PC as well. It is a game by Focus Entertainment, which is actually the same publisher as Farming Simulator series that I've played so much. And uh, But this is a different developer. It's been a game that I've wanted to check out for a while. They did give me a copy so I could check it out, and I'm going to play a little bit. I had a friend the other day who said, hey, what do you know about this game? And... I'm going to show you, and we'll talk a little bit about it as we go. All right, just for the sake of this one, we're going to do one of the challenges. Do one of the very first challenges, and we're going to go ahead and start it. All right, it's the rig. Welcome to the challenge. Primary objective, pick up a trailer, then drive the rig to a small town. Bonus objectives, don't drive in the opposite road lane here. Use the cockpit camera when... Uh, driving with the trailer so yeah I mean I don't know I'm not sure that I'm worried about the cockpit trailer if you hit your your uh, pad you'll get a little map it tells you where to go and then when you come back is you'll see it's now it's highlighted the first thing we got to do is we got to take off the uh, parking brake by pressing our circle and then uh, just start the engine by pressing your R2, and then you can go. Now, I'm assuming that this is the correct side of the road. I mean, over in Europe and stuff, the other side is the correct side. Who knows? Um, so, I have played this game before. To be honest with you, it's, it's a little bit clunky. I mean, I don't know if this is supposed to be like historic vehicles, because... I, I mean, I've, I've never, like, actually driven logging vehicles. I was in the military, and we drove, like, five-ton vehicles, which I, I would assume were equivalent, but at least on the regular road, they drove fine. Now, I can see off-road it being a little bit more difficult like it is here. Um, the arrow is showing me going through that water. I have no idea why I would want to do that. And last time I played it, I did not have this much difficulty going through. So let's go ahead and let's see, is there a differential lock? We can attach a winch. Um, although we shouldn't have to. Is there anything I can attach the winch to? There we go. So you press your triangle and that, that'll help you out there. Alright. And we'll go here and we'll release the winch. I really shouldn't have had to do that on this part. Last time I played it I didn't have to do it, so I'm not sure what the difference is, but... As you can see, it's kind of clunky driving. I mean... Again, I'm, I'm not familiar with this type of vehicle, but I didn't think this should be this hard. Again, this is not by the same people who make Farming Simulator. I mean, it's the same publisher, but not the same developers. Although, I would say that the vehicles handle, uh, other than being clunky, I, they actually handle better, I would say. So, we need to get up underneath this trailer over here like when you drive some of the trucks and stuff in farming simulator it's like all right so from here you press your up on your advanced tab and press up again and you can attach the trailer you have to press up twice uh, I didn't really get a lot of notification for that and stuff, but it is what it is. Now we're going to hit our touchpad again. It's going to give us our map. And at this point, we can see we need to go up to here. So we can actually set our own waypoints. Like we need to go to here. 
Oh, let me bring that back up again. Uh, how do I set a waypoint? So R1 will add a waypoint path. I guess we should add one down here somewhere, maybe? I don't know. That seems kind of silly. Let's, uh, let's just go. We, kn we know where we need to go. Like I said, there's some things that I don't really care for in this particular um, game. It's it, it has. I thought I'd have a, a lot of fun with it. Like this right here, it just seems a lot more difficult than it should be. And like it, it jerked to the right there for me. I'm not even sure why. I'm not a truck driver. Like I said, I did drive uh, big uh, vehicles, five-ton vehicles and stuff like that in the military. Um, and this may be a kickback to old trucks. Maybe they functioned this way back before I ever started driving. I, I have no idea. I do know that I have to get through uh, this here. And I'm probably going to have to use the winch. This seems like it's going a lot slower and a lot clunkier than it needs to be and has to be. Oh, I didn't need the winch. Right, I do believe we need to go up to here. So, how do I just clear this? Because now it's just a mess. Can I just delete it? Move node, hold to delete. All right, there we go. And then I want to go to here. See, it's not not following the road. I guess I guess we could go here, here. Here, here, here. Look, I can't even go up to there. Oh, it's going to let me go up now. I had to turn my map. All right. And then in here. All right. There we go. Let's go deliver this bad boy. Now I do know that you can go in like manual mode. Let's see if I can zoom out. Can I zoom out? Like in Farming Simulator you can zoom out, but I guess you can't here. You can't go cock, uh, hold your L3 and go cockpit camera. I'm not sure what I did there. Did I take it out of automatic? I don't like this mode at all. All right, let's go back here. Apparently I'm driving, I'm not driving in automatic mode. Stop engine, change truck, attach winch. You can look, look around, I guess. I don't know. All right. Like I said, I've only played this a few times. The main reason why I'm making this video is number one, I was under obligation to make a video. And because I had a friend that was thinking about buying it and they want to see. So I will say this, that just because um, Maybe I don't have a great preference for this game. Doesn't mean that you won't. I mean, I realize that different people have different tastes. Like, so I'm supposed to go through this now. And you know what, for some of this, I may just go ahead and speed up 
just because this this looks like it's going to be painful. All right, attach that winch there. Could you imagine having to actually? Attach a winch to drive a vehicle everywhere you went. I mean, why don't they just put four-wheel drive on this thing? Or actually, 15 million wheel drive, because it already, it has more than four wheels. It just seems really slow and clunky, and to be honest with you, when I'm driving, I just want to drive. Looks like we finally got through that part. Oh, that was painful. I mean, look at that. I mean, on a subjective fail, don't drive on the opposite side of the road. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, you shift your steering one way slightly, or what appears to be slightly, and it overcompensates. I'm sure you can get better at this game by just being slow and methodical because it is a very slow and methodical game. And if you have this game, you have any tips, uh, if you enjoy this game, anything that could help out, anything that helped change my mind, please let me know. I'd also like to set, share that with viewers, with my friend. Please don't let me have to back this up. Please just let me drop this off. I want to be put out of my misery. And they want me to back it up. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can do this here. One more try, and if we don't get it, we're going to stop here. But you guys understand, I am not a truck driver. Don't claim to be one. But I didn't really think it, it should be this difficult. <laughs> Alright, this is not going to happen, right? Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments, like, subscribe. Don't leave hate mail. I know I suck at this game. That's probably one of the reasons why I don't enjoy it. But if you do, if you if you have some tips, if you have some other things that you can share with the viewers, if you think people should buy this game, hey, let me know. All right, until next time, this is Iron, and we will see ya!